but some good news in the newspapers for UKIP this morning. One poll has them running the Lib Dems close, two others have them surging ahead with a whopping 14%. That support looks like it's coming in large part from Tory voters and coincides with the party's high profile opposition to plans to allow gay map uh, couples to marry. It's happy days for Nigel Farage, the party leader. He joins us now. So, some good news, Nigel Farage, for UKIP. Gay marriage, it's an issue in which you seem to have won some Tory support. Exactly why are you opposed to gay marriage? Oh, we're very happy with civil partnerships. We think that years of inequality have been ended um, and that gay people have got the respect they deserve. But if you extend the use of the word marriage, even if, to begin with, you just allowed it in registry offices, you open yourself up to the European Court of Human Rights, and indeed there was a French case on this just last year. And what is likely to happen is that you finish up with churches and faith groups all over the country being told that they have to conduct gay marriages in their place of worship. And I think the important thing here is that tolerance needs to be a two-way street. Um, and frankly, I think that the churches have been having a pretty rough deal just lately. But I'm still not clear who the events of the question. Why are you opposed to gay marriage? Uh, we are not opposed to civil partnerships. We I'm think, not asking we, about that. Think. I'm asking about gay marriage. Because if we go for gay marriage, we will force many millions of people in this country, and not just Anglicans and Catholics, but many of the black evangelical churches, uh, many people in the Muslim community, will be forced into a position where they have to conduct ceremonies that are anathema to them. And, and that, frankly, is a very illiberal thing to do. You say in my village in Kent, they're just completely against it. Really yeah. a reason for opposing it? Uh, no, the, uh, the point I was making is that it is the Conservative Party support that will suffer most from this proposal. It wasn't in Cameron's manifesto. There was no public call to do this, and yet he is pursuing headlong a policy that is going to enormously damage and split his own party, particularly in the shires. And I think gay marriage is one of those issues where attitudes in the big metropolitan centres compared to the shires are very, very sharply different. Well, one of your uh, members of the European Parliament, a UKIP member, recently compared gay marriage to incest. Is there homophobia within your party? No, there isn't, but you'll find in all parties, you'll find people um, who don't like gay marriage um, using that word was well, they wrong. They might not like it, but they're not well, comparing it to that, incest. Yeah, well, yeah, using that word was wrong and it was a mistake. Okay, but you are in alliance in the European Parliament with a number of uh, parties that are homophobic. For example, the United Poland Party. Quote, there is no place for homosexuals in our party. Italy's Northern League. Homosexuals should go to a psychiatrist to feel well, better. These are your allies in yeah, the European Parliament. You, know, you are talking about you know, one spokesman in the Northern League, a party that, of course, has been in coalition government in Italy for many, many years. Yeah, with Mr. When, you do business, when you do business in Europe, um, particularly in Eastern Europe, uh, if you get into bed politically and form an alliance in the Parliament with Christian groups, and in this case, strong Catholic groups. Many of them will have views on social issues that won't be the same as yours. But it's the same, you know, whatever you do in Europe, you have to deal with former communists, uh, you have sure. to deal with people that you may not agree with, uh, but that does not mean that it's the view of UKIP. Yeah, but if you lie down with dogs, don't you get fleas? Uh, listen, the cultural differences between North and South and East and West Europe are so great on these social issues that you could apply the same arguments to the Conservative Party, the Labour Party and the Lib Dems. So why did you, uh, your party, Party, maybe even you yourself send a message of support to the Polish priest whose radio station pumps out anti-Semitic well, and homophobic material. For example, when a gay Polish MP was elected, he said, quote, the sodomites are coming. And you sent him a statement of support. Donald Tusk was cracking down on press freedom in Poland. In fact, 25 people were removed from a variety of media networks crossing from left to right, but those that were taking an anti-government position. And I stood up for freedom of speech. I don't support the editorial line of the Morning Star, but I wouldn't wish to see it closed down. All right. And do you regret supporting him, though, for being anti-Semitic and homophobic, using these words of the sodomites? Are coming. Why I, would you listen, send a statement to someone nothing, like that? I have got nothing to do with Radio Maria at all. Never have, never will. But I think it quite wrong. Uh, Did that you it, send the statement? In the country, I sent a statement supporting the rights of 25 different journalists from across the spectrum, who's, who the government were trying to put out of business, and that I think must be wrong. All right, Nigel Farage, thank you very much.